Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. So in this video we would be studying about different operations that can be performed on a Python list. Okay, so in the previous video we studied what are list, how to access different elements of the list and how can we say that uh, whether a Python list is mutable or not. So now we will try to mutate the Python list and uh, even, even if not mutate, we will try to perform different operations that we already saw were possible using the Python strings. So the first operation is the concatenation operation. So in concatenation, when we perform concatenation on a Python list, it basically helps us to join the contents of two lists. So the concatenation operation is performed using the plus operator or we also call it as the concatenation operator plus. Then how do you perform concatenation? So in concatenation, you need to have two different lists at least and uh, the contents of the list that is appearing to the left hand side of the concatenation operator will appear first in the concatenated list and the contents of the list appearing on the right hand side of the concatenation operator will appear after the elements of the uh, left at, list at the right left hand side okay so uh, so if we have two lists namely list 1 and list 2 then when we concatenate it by using this command list 1 plus list 2 so first the resulting list will have the elements of list 1 and the elements are 1 2 and 3 and then the concatenated list will have the elements of the second list which was specified at the right hand side of the plus operator and these elements are 4, A and 5.6. So this is how you concatenate. Now using co uh, concatenation operator you need to be very sure that both the operands that you are specifying on either side of this operator are of the same data type. So if you are concatenating lists you should uh, have both the operands as lists otherwise you will get a type error okay and one another important point is that concatenation does not change the uh, elements of the existing lists that are being concatenated so what do i mean by that so if in the previous example you concatenated lists list one and list two and you got this particular result now the new concatenated list will be stored separately and the existing list will have the same old contents. So even after concatenation, list 1 will have the three elements namely 1, 2 and 3 and list 2 will have the old elements itself 4, A and 5.6 and this new list you can assign to a new list variable. Okay. And the second important point that I was talking about is if you try to append or if you try to concatenate two different data types using the concatenation operator you will get a type error that you can only concatenate lists or you can only concatenate strings or you can concatenate data belonging to the same data type. Now coming to the second operation which is the repetition operation. So repetition operation is performed using the star operator which is also known as the repetition operator. So if you have a list, list 1 which has a single element which is the string ABC in it. Now when you use the repetition operator on list 1 and you repeat this list 3 times then you will get a new list that will consist of 3 elements and each of these elements will be the repetition of the elements that are contained in list 1. So in this example list 1 consisted of only one element so when you uh, perform repetition on this list you will get a new list consisting of the same element ABC repeated three times. Okay. Now coming to the membership operation on list. So uh, in uh, case of list just like strings there are two kinds of membership operations that are possible. First is in the membership operator in and the second operator is not in. Okay. So 
in operator is used to check whether a particular element is present in that particular list or not and if a particular element is present then the return value of this operator is true otherwise it is false so if you have a list again with the name of list one which has three elements mind your exam these are three strings which are the three elements of this list now if you want to check whether the string channel is a part of list one that means whether this particular string is an element that exists in list one or not then you use the membership operator in and then you will get the result as false because this particular string is not an element of the list that you are specifying here list one does not contain the string channel now if you check whether the string exam is a um, element or is a member of the list one then you will get the result as true because yes the uh, element exam is present as the third element of this list list one now so there is a complementary membership operator which is the not in operator and this returns true when a particular uh, element is not present in the given list and vice versa so uh, if i recheck these two strings channel and exam with the case of not in operator then the results would be opposite so channel string is not present in the list list one that is why the result will be true and the string exam is present in list one that is why when we apply the not in operator on it we get the result as false so not in operator will give true when the particular element that we are checking is not present in the list and if the element is present it will return false okay now the last operation for the day is the slicing operation that we can perform on list similar to slicing in strings so what was the syntax of the slicing operation in string so we specified the string who's uh, who, that we want to uh, slice then we specified at least two kinds of indices we can skip these indices also but uh, you specified two indices separated by a colon the first indice the first index value specified from where you want to slice the particular string and the second index value was the index value before which you want to stop slicing so if we have a list l1 the same uh, rules will apply the list named list one has four elements mind your exam channel now if i perform slicing on this list list one one colon three that means start uh, slicing the list from index value one and go till index value two which is one less than the index value specified here okay so uh, what i'll do the index 1 is, this is index 0, this is index 1, this is index 2. So, I will print these two elements and the resulting list is containing two elements namely your and exam. Okay. Now, if we want to slice from the location 1 and end till the index value 10 now since this particular list list 1 has only four elements it has a length of four and the index values range from 0 1 2 and 3 so when you specify the ending index which is greater than the actual length of the list that you are slicing then all the elements till the end will be printed starting from this particular starting index so from this particular uh, element that is the second element present at index 1 all the strings uh, in the list will be printed so we have three elements your exam and channel now we have uh, another slicing operation in which we start at index value 3 and end at index value 1 now since the uh, ending index is less than the starting index the returned value will be an empty list okay now uh, in this is a case where uh, we do not have 
we haven't specified a starting index but we have an ending index so by default if the starting index is missing you start the slicing of the list from the very first element and go till the ending index minus one so starting from the very first element will be the return value would be index value 0 1 2 and 3 that is the entire list in this case the next operation is slicing with a jump of 2 so now when we specify a third index val third value also in the list slicing operation then we are actually telling how uh, we need to print the elements do we have to skip one element do we have to skip two elements in this case we want the operation to skip two elements and then give us the result so starting from index value 0 we will go till index value 4 and in a gap of 2 so we'll start with the first element which is mind then we'll skip one element then we'll specify the next element which is exam and then we'll skip the next element and since the list is over so only two elements will be printed in the result and in the last case you can also always specify negative indexes and uh, similar results would be obtained starting from the index value of minus four so uh, the last element of the list has an index minus one second last has minus 2 minus 3 and minus 4 so minus 4 means you are beginning from the very first element and you are going till the second last element so there are three elements in the resulting list which are mind your exam the three strings okay so that's all for today's video hope you understood all these operations if you want to study a particular topic from python or any other computer science subjects do let us know in the comment section below and if you have any doubts you can mention them also so till we meet in the next video mind your exam